social lubricant. America's first competition talk show. The hub is engaging. Talk life. Here's the uh, the topic for the day: is that there's some new research revealing that uh, that uh, executions. The traditional way of uh, long, long way, the proven way of executing criminals in this com- country and administering capital punishment uh, works better than what we've been using over the last several decades in lethal injection. It costs less. It's less messy. And, uh, and you know, you, 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 you just basically cart off what's left the remains of the day in a bowl when it's all over, dump it out in the backyard, and you're good to go. Um, but executions have, uh, have been, have been the, the way of choice, and they're... they're, they're a lot less difficult to screw up. The research is saying that a lot of folks, one of the reasons why this is, is that when you administer lethal injection uh, injection to a uh, death row inmate, um, the nurses, the doctors cannot administer that because of regulations in, in their own contract, you know, Hippocratic Oath and other things. Uh, and this is why the corrections officer usually sticks the needle, which is why a lot of times they get the needle wrong. Rich, uh, agree, disagree, and 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 do you do you shoot me first? Uh, do you shoot me now, or do you uh, or do you go with the, do you go with the needle? I think it's a it's a moot argument. Uh, these people have committed heinous crimes that are deserving of death. It doesn't matter whether it's by a gun, whether it's by a needle, or whether it's by some other means. It doesn't matter, and I think this the whole just argument is based around people who are either for or against the death penalty. If you're against it, then obviously you try to think of every kind of reason why the particular methods of carrying out the death sentence are, are, are inhumane. So in the, my particular case, I'd say, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You yeah, know? and statistics have shown that the death penalty properly administered, uh, administered shows a 100% reduction in uh, recidivism rates by a factor of one. So, Whitney, um, Good point. you've got to agree with this, right? I it abs- works. I absolutely agree with Rich, and I agree that it becomes a debate over whether or not you believe in the death penalty at all, not the means by which someone's going to be executed. And honestly, if it's cheaper to do it by firing squad, go ahead. It costs the state less. And actually, I know that I think there's an argument that it actually costs more to keep someone on death row. But if we're going to go back to the firing squad, then why not? Why keep them on death row that long? Efficiency plus. I, you know, and, and, and honestly, I, I think that you get a lot of criminals with criminal minds, the smart ones anyway, that actually use this time to write bestsellers. I think of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I think of Saul Alinsky, who actually wrote in Rules for Radicals. You know what? If I'm a criminal mind, I'm working overtime to disrupt the equilibrium of society, and it's a full-time job, and then some. The only time I have time to sit down and write my book is if you incarcerate me, and you pay for all the necessities of life. I have time to collect my thoughts and write a bestseller. Brooke, uh, I say just kill them. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, we've come a long way in the uh, area of killing. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are ways, uh, you know, that some people have said, you know, doing it lethal injections the way they want. Uh, others have said firing squad, however, I don't know. I mean, we've cut... I think, uh, you know, there's, there could be some missteps and some misfirings as well in that situation. So, I mean, it just depends. Uh, you know, you said, obviously, um, it's, it's, no matter what, it's, it's, a painful, it's, it's painful for the victims of the families uh, that are having to see this or to uh, witness this. So, um, you know, I, I just don't know if we're going to go straight back to the days of, you know, taking a firing range in this country. Well, Whitney? I was going to say, I really actually did wonder, speaking about, like, the firing squad, why in the world they put a target over the heart of the criminal and then have four people shoot at him when you could put a gun to his head and be done, like, and be sure, and, and nobody's going to miss, like, you don't have to aim, and well, or they could put four of them. You are ruthless. Wow. Well, it's not even that. I just think, I mean, the, the point is we want him to die as instantly as possible, as painlessly as possible, and like she's saying, you could have a misfiring. Plausible are, deniability. One, one gun does not have bullets. Yeah. So there you go. You never know. You might be the guy that didn't shoot it. Well, here's an idea. Rich. Why don't we just give the criminal um, a, bull, a gun with one bullet, <laughs> and we let them play Russian roulette? Until something pops off. Yeah. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, and we'll play Candyland in the background and let them do their, their thing. I mean, we put them on a timer. Just make sure we're in another room somewhere where they can't shoot at us because there is a reason <laughs> there, why they're there is an inclination, getting the death think, penalty. The so. I don't know if they're reformed. You know, no, there's only a way to fully reform a criminal. Uh, who's a who's a violent criminal? That's to kill them, um, you know. I, it, but and, you know, I know broken window theory and all that, but. 
uh, at the at the end of the day, uh, I mean, when you're looking at a state like Georgia, where right now we have, uh, they say, one in seven or one in eight adults over the uh, of, of legal age are now incarcerated, or have been in the recent past, and 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 we have a swelling of uh, of the of the roles in in detention centers in 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 the state of Georgia, and it's chronic around the country. Um, we do have to come up with, I guess, the most responsible way to handle this, but we do have to do this humanely. But at, at the same time, uh, setting an example, I don't think that's inhumane. It leads a little bit more of it. Disagree? You can comment in the YouTube video. We'll see you tomorrow on The Hub. I just want to live. Don't live.